today on Blind Date. What type of guys do you like? Um, losers. <laughs> She's a loser at love. I'm not too good with the relationships. Can he end her losing streak? If someone wants to take me out, I'll let them take me out. Plus, corsage. It's like prom night. Yes, it's just like prom night. Except you might not get laid. One of life's burning questions. Whoa, am I going to make out with this girl? Yeah. It all begins now. Yeah, because I'm a sexual machine. Look out. On Blind Date. <laughs> Greetings, everybody. Nice to have you with us. I'm Roger Lodge, and once again, It'll be my pleasure to be your tour guide on that rocky road to romance. So what do you say we get to it? And today we're gonna start with Mia and Greg. Now Mia says that she's too young to get serious. She just wants to party with a guy who's smart and funny. Well, her date Greg says he loves to party, he's smart, and he's funny. Oh, this is unbelievable. I would say I'm a big kid myself. I would like guys to, you know, be worldly. Uh, but maybe have a few marbles loose. I think some people misconstrue my sarcasm as being obnoxious. I'm afraid of being slutty because of what society has, has placed upon me. Society says that I should get a haircut, but I don't think so. You know, I gotta go with society on that one, Curly, because right now, you look like a Q-tip with a wig. Good luck out there, guy. Nice to meet you. This is for you, Mia. My it's, goodness. It's a corsage. It's like prom night. Yes, it's just like prom night. Except you might not get laid. So, oh, so you're so you went to your prom. Yes. In 1990. Yes, 1990. AD. So I'm 32. You were 32. Yes, but I'm pretty damn good looking for 32. <laughs> I just well, turned 21. 21, all right. I pride myself on not being the normal, like, 21-year-old. Like, woohoo! All right. I'm gonna get naked. All right. You know? Right. Do you normally date younger girls or uh, older? I'll date anything I can get, Mia. <laughs> Usually younger, just because... Um, they're not looking for something more, usually? Whatever's running around, I suppose. I mean, wow. I don't go to like That's a, a bar. That's a big compliment to me. They'll get whatever's <laughs> running around. Well, you're sitting There's... down right now. Really? I like trees. I noticed that, um, you know, you have good feet, uh -huh. you're in flip flops, you're yes. all beachy. They're good enough to make some art with. Really? Howdy, cowgirl. How how you doing today? <laughs> You're looking so good, you and your feet. I like, I like feet. Oh yes, I like where this is going. <laughs> this is very naughty. Okay, all right. What Sit do you home. do? Um, exactly. I work with, I work for Boys and Girls Club and I run an after school program right now. Huh. And I've earned my teacher credential. I've got my masters and I'm um, gonna go into teaching as soon as I can get a teaching job, but the supply of teaching jobs in LA is pretty small right now. How do you like to work things when you're dating somebody? It starts with an attraction. Right. It all starts from there. 
And sometimes the attraction, you know, the sexual vibes just kind of take over. Mm. Yeah, because I'm a sexual machine. Look out. Sexual machine? <laughs> what is a sexual machine, really? You are, apparently. Mm. Are you really sexual? Um, I don't know, I like sex. Is that being sexual? I guess. It's not a sexual <laughs> machine. Mm. It's not enough to be a sexual machine just liking sex. That's not enough to be a machine. Mm. A machine is like above and beyond liking sex. Mm. ever close with being with somebody for um, ever? No. Never close to it? Uh, sure, I was close, but not uh, not on the cusp. Mm. I, I think I probably have problems with uh, commitments and... Uh, Commitment issues. Yeah. So what do you think of what's transpired so far? What's gonna materialize? Yeah, or like, did did like I meet your expectations of like what you thought this was, this was gonna turn out like? Uh, I don't think so. No. You don't think I met your expectations? Mm -hmm. So what were your expectations then? Well, uh, I think uh, it's it's really connection wise. I don't know if we're connecting uh -oh. here. Are we? Uh -oh. Um. I be honest. Be honest, that's all right, that's cool. Go with it. I would probably say, um, you know, connection-wise, it's not, it's not really, you know, we're not right for each other, mm. maybe. Mm. That's okay, though. It's okay, it's what happens. Absolutely. You know what I mean? This, this guy over here might be what I need. thinking right now? What am I thinking? Hmm, I'm thinking we're in traffic. And usually at the end of the date, you're thinking like, whoa, am I gonna make out with this girl? Yeah. But do you, are you, do you think you're not thinking that because you know it's not a possibility? <laughs> I'm gonna say goodnight here. All right. Have a good night. Have a good night. Here Let's, go. yeah. Oh! Here. <laughs> oh, yes. Wow, that was great. That was a nice, very casual hug. Now have a good night. You too. Thanks for, for uh, your company. Bye. Oh, that was a rough good night. Maybe it was the hair amongst other things. And these two will definitely take the gloves off when we come back. Up next. Are you ever a Boy Scout? I'm a girl. This girl's yes. ego needs a makeover. I'm not too good with the relationships. That's next. Sexual machine. Look out. Are you really sexual? Um, I don't know, I like sex. Is that being sexual? Mm. That's not enough to be a sexual machine, just liking sex. That's not enough to be a machine. Mm. Easy on that machine business, Curly. Someday you might have to live up to that. Someday, just not today. My first impression of Greg was definitely that he was older. 11 years elder. Uh, yes, I think it might have been a fact of her more so than it was for me. When Greg told me that he was a sex machine, I thought perhaps he might not know the definition of sex or machine. There won't be a second date with Mia. Uh, I kind of thought that uh, she wasn't happening. I thought she kind of sucked. There's not going to be a second date with Greg because there's nothing there. There's not 
really a connection. Quite frankly, I don't really want my kids to have those afros. Hey, don't be knocking the Greg Brady look. That's not fair. All right, now let's roll the dating dice with Stephanie and Marcus. Now, Stephanie says she just wants to date normal guys who will treat her right. Well, that's where Marcus comes in. Good guy, good job, and dating skills galore. I go out of my way to, to do all the, uh, the nice things. I am talkative and intelligent and picky and complicated. <laughs> At heart, I think I'm a hopeless romantic. I'm pretty OK with casual sex. I think I fall in love easily. I never know what I want, so it's impossible for anyone else to know what I want. Well, hopefully Stephanie will want more of Marcus when it's all said and done. Good luck, kid. Welcome. I hope you like it. I named the bear actually Roger Lodge. Roger Lodge. Yeah. Interesting. Well, you know, it's not really a sexy name, so you can name her whatever you want to. Okay. That's cool. Thank you. No problem. It's really nice to meet you. Stephanie, what do you do? I work for an independent record label. I'm the vice president of production. Wow. Yeah. I do paralegal um, document preparation business. So we do everything up into litigation. So do you date people now? A lot, actually. <laughs> Whoa. What does that mean? I don't know. I mean, if someone wants to take me out, I'll let them take me out. So what's the most romantic date you've ever been on? Um. <laughs> Uh, no, no guys I've ever gone out with know anything about about romance. I don't know. So what type of guys do you like or usually go out with? Um, losers. <laughs> um, guys that don't have their together. That's what I attract. Usually significantly older than me. Right. Hello, afternoon. Hello. Are you here for some knives today? Yes. Hold it like this at a 45 degree angle. Give it about 10 to 15 degrees. Two, three times on each side. Who would like to try this first? Ladies first. Okay. Ladies first. Okay, what you do, hold that at a 45 degree angle like that. Take the other knife in the other hand, either one, doesn't matter. And you're sliding straight back with it and down a little. <laughs> yeah. Okay, would you like to try? Yeah, sure. Okay, no here, why don't you give it a try on that? Okay. See how you can handle that. Okay. Then while you're doing that, like, do you eat fish or anything like that? Yeah. Okay. Are you ever a Boy Scout? I'm a girl. <laughs> Have a good day. All right. You too. Thank you. <coughs> right. So what's the longest relationship you've ever been in? I don't know, somewhere around like four or five months. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm not too good with the relationships. Yeah. So what happened with that? I am really a big nerd. <laughs> My studio. I'm going to teach you how to do the triple time East Coast swing. Have you ever done that before? Never. No. Okay. <laughs> One and two, three and four, back step. One and two, much better. Three and four, much better. One, two, three and four, back step. One and two, three. Okay, even smaller. Okay. Much smaller now. Okay. That was very good. You <laughs> nailed it. All right. Did you feel it? I got it. Okay. Now, my um, prescription is that you need to come in at least one lesson a day. <laughs> Practice at home one lesson a day. All 
All right, this is to uh, our new found friendship and our date and <laughs> okay. all the good times that we had. Cool. You never really had a long-term relationship? Mm-hmm. Why is that? I get bored really, really, really easily. Yeah, um, and I think quicker than most people, like those little things that annoy people, annoy me. In like a relationship, I'm very, very picky and just everything drives me crazy. Yeah. I think it's, it's really, it's all me. I think I'm at this point in my life where I'm like in the middle of two stages, so I just like, I can't even imagine being in a relationship for any amount of time right, right. now, just because, just because I have finally realized that, you know, that oh my guys in the past were losers. <laughs> I'm not too good with the relationships. Yeah. Everything drives me crazy. I'm very, very picky. I get bored really, really, really easily. Well, Stephanie, you know what? Mm -hmm. I had a great time. I'm going to have to leave right now. OK. All right. I think Marcus saw the writing on the wall here. He knew what was coming. Plus, he stuck Stephanie with the check. But I'm sure she'll get even when we come back. Coming up. That's it. It's kind of a boring existence, but it's my reality. Keeping it real is keeping him lonely. Bye. You too. See ya. The Hall of Shame's coming up. You are the fire. You never really had a long-term relationship? Mm-hmm. Why is that? I get bored really, really, really easily. I can't even imagine being in a relationship for any amount of time right, right. now. Oh, that's too bad. She seems like such a catch. I don't think we're talking second date here, folks, considering Marcus didn't finish the first one. I decided, like, right away that he was he was weird. We couldn't find that, that connection. When Marcus got up and left, I was shocked, actually. I wish her the best in everything she does, but it's just that we're not compatible. I was kind of glad that I wasn't going to have to have all this pressure on me to try and have a conversation with someone that I can't talk to at all. The reason I left the date was there was no romance between us, there was no physical attraction. So I just had to call a cat a cat and I had to leave the date. Well, the cat's meowing, pal. I have no idea what that means, I just made it up. All right, coming up, he's living life in the slow lane, but his date's looking for an off-ramp. A classic Hall of Shame is next. Welcome back to the Blind Date Hall of Shame, where honesty is not always the best policy. Case in point, Fred's date with Arcella. Now, old Freddy boy figured his less than glamorous lifestyle might be attractive. Boy, was he ever wrong. To live, and I just refuse to live like that. Mm -hmm. You know, the rat race and yeah. people that just go nonstop. Mm -hmm. I just I can't do it. I just will, will not do it, is the bottom line. I just won't do it. And, um... That's it, it's kind of a boring existence, but it's my reality. That's it, it's kind of a boring existence, but it's my reality. That's it, it's kind of a boring existence, but it's my reality. Do you want to go out another time, or? Like I said, you're a really nice guy. Okay, that's just, cool. That's fine. I don't feel the chemistry. No connection? That's cool. No connection. All right. Have a good Bye. life. You too. Bye. See ya. No connection? There wasn't even a pulse. All right, that'll do it for today's show. I'm Roger Lodge, and thanks for watching.